Right then, hello everyone, so welcome to part number 31, I think. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a cheesy win against America. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, because I've not bought the right thing. Right, so, Operation Cheesy Win Against America. The Nibians were actually the harder ones to beat, because I tried to fight them, and it didn't go very well. Might actually fight them first. No, let's get America out of the way first. Right. America's easy to be. Well, it's not. It's just a nice cheese it. Don't want to trim the bow. Wow. The rule. Take a few more casualties than normal. Wow, it's gone the wrong way this time, really. You do need some luck with this with this, with this strategy. I have to admit. Um, yeah, they didn't seem to go the way I wanted them to, but never mind. Might still be enough. Go! Thank you very much. Right, let's hold this first. Capture with infantry, that's the signal. Go! Now I can sit in the back, block whatever he sends, and drop the wood. Hold out for five minutes and move one. Now I can just start building the town. Quite normal. Then I've just got to go and fight the Nibians up. It's a very, very difficult, like I said. I tried to do this strategy against them and it basically backfired absolutely miserably. Like these have got like only like a little bit of defense, they've got loads. And I don't know why, they have a bigger army than what they do, and they have more defense. It makes no sense to me. Either these are a level 8. And that's a level 8, but that has a lot less. This has a lot less defense, I don't get it. You'd think Washington has like loads of defense.
I've only got to hold them back for like three minutes. I don't have to to like destroy them completely. I need, if anything, I need knowledge. So I need to get a thing built. Uh, what's that? University. And a market and a temple. Market. And temple. Oh, we've got the city anyway. Right. These don't need to have like light tanks. I think the inhibits have the better tanks. That might be why it doesn't work. And I get less tanks as well. And I get less rockets. I think when I was fighting the Nibians, my army, my army, my backup army was a lot weaker. As well, I had a few disadvantages. What I need to probably do is get the civic bonus. Because if I get the civic bonus level 4, my men will heal automatically as well. So I probably need to get some bonus. I can remember the Nibbins when they're on my arm, how fast they were. Like, they built three or four cities so quickly. Like, the Americans are good, but what they can, they, they can probably do it in like five minutes. It's ridiculous. I've played this game as well, and I don't think they're very good for Whenever I play against them, they absolutely just kill me every time. The Bantu are good when the computer plays with them, and so are the Nibians. I think they're two factions you've got to wipe out quite quickly. But well, any faction can be dangerous. They're all quite level. It's just I think I got lucky because of how the map is against America. More than anything, they didn't really build their cities very well. But there's their defense out of the way. So, yeah. probably over here no I want to blow up the uh, thingy I've got a lot of tribute I think I've got that already uh, yeah, America, skill, trade, what's the trade do? I wonder if I should just get every single card I've got and play them all. And just go for it. But surely if I've got every card, he can't beat me. No matter how good he is. Ooh, he's left his army there. That might be good for me. Because normally his arm is there. Well, Treacher is no good, is it? But it might be, because I could take this from him. I could weaken him a bit first. It's that why, because he gets that, doesn't he? He gets 15% cheaper. That's probably that why it's so difficult to beat. Perhaps mm. you do buy that. I'll use that to weaken him. I 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. There. Hmm. I don't really want signs. Um. Do I have that? I don't think that's one I've got. Yes, I have. Okay. In that case, I'll use that. Yeah. Civic, that's what you want. Right. I'm going in. He surely can't beat me. Not with, not with this lot. Every single card I've got is going in. Got two of them. I must have two of them. Can you actually use this many? This is a bit unfair. Actually, no, don't use that many. That's a bit stuffed. Um, right. Yeah, deprive them of their special power. Start with some extra technology. Start with extra troops. Start with more economy. Might start with more resources. They get no so they get no benefit now. Eh, uh, that won't really matter. So I'll be attacking then. Probably won't make much difference. Yes, that'll be helpful. Uh, where? Yeah, that's what I want. Actually, the recoil might be quite useful because it will heal me. Right, let's go. Got loads of cards. Sure, they can't be. Uh, it says I've got the advantage. Apparently, only just though. I don't see how. But whatever. Wow, they must be so OP then. Get that and all. About the same. Scarily. And I've got every card pretty much I've got. Wow, they're so OP.
don't have anything for bit, no. I think he might survive. Yes, I am winning, but not by a lot. like slowly invading and like get my mind to like attack and heal, attack and heal, attack and heal. Attack them. I feel like I'm, I, I am fighting them like head on, which is probably not a good idea. They're going to be impossible to beat. Kind of feeling that way at the moment. Where's my supply wagon? Get here. Get him, let him heal. There you go. Wow, 
Why did you get in the rail? Oh, right, block that like instead. This might be harder than I actually thought. to work. Somewhere. I should actually focus on my economy a bit now. Because I've weakened him anyway. In the very least. Well, I might have done one. I attacked the one city. Maybe I should have attacked this first. The Nibians are too OP, aren't they? Literally every single card I had, which is like loads of them. And I only had only just that one. Wow, they're so they're very OP, aren't they? And this is only on moderate setting. Imagine that, what they're like on card.
Why is it not like... like it's, so, it's so like I've won all night. Like, everything he's got is destroyed. Is it because he can still build units? Get him! 37%. Wow. I've not built any economy in the last two battles at all. It's all been like... Basically, well, it's been cheesy, hasn't it? Two cheesy victories. I had to though, because you can't beat them the other way. Me a few attempts to just do it this way. I tried to do it without using any cards and I got uh, like dominated. Then I tried to use it like just using backup cards, I still lost. Turns 47. Four overruns, nations defeated 12, battles such victories 39, territories conquered all 59. Time spent in the world 57 hours, uh, no 27. Wow. It was a lot longer than that, trust me. That probably felt like about a, about a year. So that's it. Bantu are complete. Thank Lord for that. I'm going to return to the map quickly. I did get a few cheese. Well, basically, I cheesed over. Basically, when I got to the information age, you have to cheese your way through. There's no other way of doing it. So, like it or not, I cheesed my way through and I own the world, basically. So, the next game I'm going to probably play will probably be Rome Total War. Um, I'll need to do Need for Speed as well. I might do one more campaign, but I need to try and conquer the world before it gets to the information age. I might do one more, might do like Korea or Japan, but next is definitely Rome Total War. I said that last time, but Rome Total War is next. It needs to be done. I've done like two of these already, so this isn't actually that important. So Rome Total War is next. I might do an for Speed at the same time, if I can actually get it, because I don't have a disk drive in this computer. Cause it, obviously this is my gaming computer, it's what I bought at Christmas, and I don't have disk drive in it. Oh, I forgot to add one in, so... You can't get it on DLC either because I looked. So I might have to buy a disk drive, but I'm still paying my, my computer off for because I'm paying eighty. I'm paying basically my computer off over ten months. So I've basically paid for like a few months off already. Anyway, that's not important. Um, that's why I've been able to put out a bit more content this, this year because I've had my computer's better. Before my computer just like crashed, but I know this one won't. So, yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, so this is it for this part uh, for this game. Game over. I've conquered the world. Thank you very much. The so next one is Rome Total War. Might be Need for Speed. I don't know what else I can do. I've got a few PlayStation games like Digimon. Like this one, uh, Cyber Sleuth, I could play, but I've got a link to my PlayStation, it's a lot of work. I did make a list of that, there's about 10 games on it. About 5 I've done, this was one. Theme, I think I've done about 5 or 6 of them, there's about 3 left, there's Need for Speed, there's Rome Tote War, and I'm sure there's another one. Oh, 
Oh, it might be Command and Conquer. I might play Command and Conquer. I'm not that good at that either, though. That's a, that would be that would be probably me fighting as the Russians, and it'd be on easy mode. And some of the missions take me about three hours. See, that would be a long, long, long game. Um, if I had to do that. But yeah, I've done it. I'm gonna end this part, and I'll see you around. Bye for now.